Hey everyone, welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about JavaScript objects, properties, and methods. It's gonna be a short video, so let's jump right in. The code for this video will be on GitHub in the description below. So first let's talk a little bit about what is an object. For an example, in this code, I'm going to give an object is basically like a noun or something. So in this case, I'm gonna use a MacBook. That's our object. A property is an attribute describing that object. So in this case, we could use some descriptors like, what is the CPU? What is the memory? What is the GPU? What is the storage? What are the specifications of the MacBook? What is a method? A method is a function or an action that can be used on that object. So for example, you can email, you can work, you can make YouTube videos. Those are the three and what they are. Now I have a few examples. Let's talk about those. So let's jump into the first example. In the first example, I'm going to just give a small case of what is an object and a property. We're gonna do a couple lines of code and show you what that looks like. So first we're gonna describe this object as let laptop. So we're gonna have laptop be a string. So in the string, I'm just gonna have some text. What is your favorite laptop? All right, in order to show us this, we're going to do a console.log and we're gonna output the display of the variable that we set laptop. We're gonna get a string, what is your favorite laptop? Basically, this is our object, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a property called length. So what we have here is laptop.length. So this is a property of our object laptop. So over here you have 29. And there's other examples of what you can use of properties like pop, shift, split, splice. I've gone through those in another video that I'll reference up here in the cards somewhere. So that's a simple example of an object and a property. In the second example, we're going to extend our object, add more properties, and also use a method. So let's take a look at that. So first what I've done is I've set another variable or object, I called it MacBook. So as you can see, this is our object. Then I've set some new properties. So I have brand is an Apple brand, CPU. This is my dream laptop, by the way, if you're a video maker. An Intel i9 HN CPU, 32 gigs of memory, eight gigs of GPU, and storage with options of one or two or four terabytes. In this example, I'm gonna show you how to call one of those out of the string, so we'll use that as well. Let's create a function. So we have specifications is what we're gonna call it. We're gonna set declare function here, and then we have two parentheses, that means it's a method. All right, and then in order to do a method, you do a return, so we're gonna return, and then we're gonna concatenate a few strings here. So first what we have is this MacBook has, so that's a static string that I've set, then I'm doing plus, and a space, and then I'm gonna do plus. This declares from this object, so we're gonna call the CPU property, plus comma space, and we're gonna do this memory, so that's another property, and then we're gonna do another plus comma space, plus this storage, and then we're going to do brackets, and we're gonna call the zero string. So we're going to get the first element out of the string. So if we run that, you'll see the string concatenated, the function runs. This MacBook has an i9HN, comma, 32 gigs memory, comma, one terabyte storage. So that example is a good example of an object, properties, and methods. In this last example, it's, it's another quick example of just to show you some of the more features that you can do. Just highlight one more added bonus. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna use the same variable as MacBook here, and I'm gonna do a console.log MacBook.brand. So I'm calling this object and this property, and then comma MacBook.storage. So I'm calling this object and this property and then in brackets again this time we're going to do two so if we look at the strings we have zero one two so what we should get is apple with four terabytes if we run it we get apple with four terabytes that's going to do it for this short video i just wanted to share what javascript objects properties and methods are about and give you a few examples if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up also let me know if you want me to do more tutorials like this i love creating these and i'll see you in the next notification